<sighs> You're awfully fond of that, aren't you? Still, you should keep it in your bag for now. I'll put it in my bag. Good. You know, that's a nice bag. It looks made to last. It's Moritz silk. I've never heard of Moritz silk. It's a fine fabric woven from the threads of the Dandarantula spider. It's got a delicate sheen, it's soft as a baby's skin, it's light and stretchable, it breathes, and it's quite durable. But that's not all. Its most fantastic quality is how it absorbs impact at... My, but you're quite the scholar. Knowledge and experience help you sniff out the best treasure. If you go and stuff every single scrap of plunder you find into your ship, she'll keel over. That does make sense. What I'm getting at is, your bag is the best place for you to keep that compass stored. Keep that thing safe. We need it. All right? All right. I have a distinct feeling we're going to lose this compass over the side of our ship again. You'd think they'd keep it bolted down somewhere. You know? Stop letting people walk around with it. Alright, so after all of that, now we should be able to go through that one locked door. After we go all the way back. A lot of backtracking in this area. And like she was talking about, not much for maintenance, there's giant rocks everywhere. Though that might have something to do with the current calamity they're currently facing. All right, it's open. What was that? It's the Von Eltia telling us they're approaching. Hurry! All right. We'll pop the gate open for her. Quickly. All right. Quickly. Move it or die. It's understandable why this place suffered so much so many battles. The Reaper. Come on, really? So many bats. Getting really good at making them eat whatever random plants we find. Stuff this in your mouth and run. like how open this area is though. You can see all these different outdoor areas that you've been walking around so far. It's kind of interesting. They're not all sectioned off. It makes it feel very large here. I'm gonna guess that one giant lever I saw over there is what we use to open the gate. Vicious giant lever in the middle of the room, not a trap. So, this opens the gate. One side, yes. The gate has two giant doors side by side, with matching levers to open each. Makes sense. All right, let's find the other device. I have a feeling the other one's going to be guarded by, you know... Some exorcist guy. You know, I was thinking about that too, that exorcist or praetor that we ran into. He wasn't even really that difficult. His whole thing was so that. Uh, what's his name? Rokuru could learn where, I guess, his 
teacher was? I'm guessing. Or whoever, whoever that person is that taught the other guy. The house Ron gets you, Steph. I see a cat's chest over there. And it's open. Let's meet up with the Von Eltia. Back to the docks. You mean I have to walk back there? Oh, this is gonna be tedious quickly. Rosy cheeks. Let's check that. <laughs> I like that hat. Oh, it's it just gives you rosy cheeks. Here, um, let me zoom in a bit. It's right stick. And how do I go up and down? There we go. Yeah, it just makes your cheeks rosy. I'm sure that one's a fun one. <sighs> so now we've got to go all the way back. Hopefully it'll warp us or something. Yes, thank you. Cutscene something. I can't let you do that. This is my... This is my... Kid, kid, what are you doing? Kid, are you not noticing the screaming demon in front of us? No! Our third compass! Boss monster. Spinning three break gauge levels will... Ah, uh, okay, so this is over limit. We'll unleash an ultimate art and also provide one soul. In addition, to defeating an enemy with a mystic art will increase item drop rates. This is not a good time to cut in with this, <laughs> with this dialogue here. Once learned, mystic arts can be used to devastate foes by holding LT during a combo with three or more BG. So you have to have three. You have to have three of those um, over-limit levels, basically. I'm going to call them over-limit, because, you know. These arts ignore combo limit are useful in extending combos once you've reached the maximum. They also grant a soul. Getting a foe with a mystic art greatly increases equipment drop rates. And that gives me another soul, which is nice. I call this an improvement. The compass. Stupid kid, you should pay attention to your surroundings. We lost our third company. Woo! That one is cool. Now, I'm noticing regular attacks don't seem to increase my over limit gauge. Unless, unless they're doing it really slow. I'm trying to focus on the gauge. I don't think it's growing any. It only seems to grow whenever I use the claw move. Yeah, I get a big boost when I do that. Let me, um, let me change battle strategy, because I bet... Yeah, I want, I want them to say you decide, because I do want them to use them. So you decide's probably good, or is it break soul? Oh no, Break Soul is that thing I'm doing with the big claw. And I think the blast is that over limit level thing. So this is good. Oh no, I see the compass there. It's still there. The kid's gonna want to go and grab it. The 
docks are swarming with demons. The Von Eltia will be overrun. Rats, we don't have long. Aizen, can you signal for them to go through without stopping? That'd keep them safe. But what about us? We'll jump down onto it as it goes past. Huh? Is there another option? Aizen, give some kind of sign. There's no need. The Von Eltia will sail through. Without an order? It was part of my plan. Welcome to the Eifried Way. <laughs> Edgelord looks behind shoulder. So good. It's coming at full speed! Let's get a move on then. Oh, he's gonna go grab the compass. Look at him, I knew it! And have a really dramatic moment where she has to save him as he goes to grab the stupid compass. Yeah. Will this really work? Do you want the Reaper's reassurance? I told you, I told you the dramatic moment before it even happened. <laughs> Stupid kid! Oh, flashbacks. save you from falling and make you fall myself <laughs> onto a safe and comfortable sail that we totally won't go straight through I don't like how that makes it go through the equipment so quickly I didn't have a chance to actually look at it Alright, so that's just a recap. <sighs> now the compass is out of alignment. Good job, kid. You're not going to thank your savior for her crafty cannonballing? Are you nuts? I told you to stay away from the cannons, not bang on them. But it was fun! And everything worked out, right? I'm sorry. If it's that important to you, keep it safe. You wouldn't want to lose it again. Give it. I need to set a course. How does he fit that in his bag? I'm looking at it now. It's a lot larger than that bag. Fine. You read it for me then. Yeah. But listen, kid. Give me one false reading and you're shark bait. <gasps> Better work hard. Um, what's Luffy said? It's a name. Your name. My... My name? Laffy Set. You're Laffy Set number two. It's a fine name. <laughs> well, it's no Mogilu. We're through the channel. Give us a course, Laffy Set. Aye, aye, sir. We're headed straight for Logris.
I personally am a fan of Laffy set number two. I don't know. Helps you remember where he came from. And that he's not the original Laffy set. He's Laffy set number two. Now this is refreshing. Sailing into port like normal people. Well done, boy. The sharks are gonna go hungry tonight. Yes, I'm glad. This won't be a problem, docking a pirate ship here? So, how were the Northern Seas, Aizen? Helavis and Vortigern are in ruins. Trade with Northgand will likely be disrupted for quite some time. Well, I like the sound of that. I'll have to act quickly. Any word of the captain? Aye. It's an old rumor. But they say Captain Eifried was sent to Titania. The island prison overseen by the exorcists, huh? We'll have to look into that. I registered your vessel as one of our merchantmen, same as always. But even so, stay on guard. There's a grand ceremony being held in Logris. Lots of watchful eyes about. I see. So they exchange information for mooring. Information? For mooring? Having the latest news gives merchants a chance to make favorable trades. So it's worth protecting a pirate. I bet Eisen and his crew have connections like this in nearly every port. Not even the Abbey's Iron Decrees can withstand the force known as human greed. I see. Don't bother going to Titania. You won't find Eifried there. And how do you know that? Because I escaped from there. And before I did, I heard something from the prisoners. They said Eifried was the only prisoner to ever get out alive. And that he was taken by an old exorcist named Oh, Melchior. right, I remember that now. Lord Melchior is an elder legate at the Abbey. He should always be present at the headquarters. Don't call him Lord. Von Eifried's our captain. It's starting to look like his disappearance has connections with the highest levels of the Abbey. Their headquarters should be in the capital, right? Yes, at the Royal Villa in Logres. I've never been there, though. And Velvet. Your business is with a man in the capital, right? Looks like we're all headed to the same place. I won't apologize for involving you. Usually I'm the one who says that. <laughs> Convenient we're all heading to the same place. Most of the time in these games, we stick together. I mean, you eventually end up sticking together because you all are friends. But you start out sticking together because you have a common interest in going somewhere. Like, we both want to go to the next city, so let's stick together. And then, you know, there's always that one guy who has nothing to do, so he just sticks with you anyway. Kind of thing. I'll make sure the Von LT is ready to sail. I guess we can't go off. Let's look around town some. Is that a cat? By the way, there's the little matter of your ship. My men brought her through the gate as well. We're going to use her as a scouting vessel. Do what you want. We stole it in the first place. A scouting vessel? I've assigned Benwick to her. He'll give you the details. Okay. Do I go over there? There is a bird. I could talk to the bird instead. Might be a better a better solution. Let's take a look. Slash thrust pop. Who wants to play a game? I don't know if it's worth it. Let's try Sham Balloon 2. Here I come. Oh god, what am I doing? Come on, really? Oh, I see. Sure. Here I come. Come on, really? Okay, I got gotcha, you. So we're trying to maybe Here beat a certain time. Come on, really?
I beat stage one. Void Norman suit. Don't worry, her arm isn't broken. So this seems like, once again, the cats all just seem like they're going to be involved with getting me clothing options. Oh my dear god! A black Norman head for velvet. That represents her seething hatred. Do I dare look at it? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> what is this? What is this? Oh my god! Her seething hatred is right. We gotta, we gotta play another one. Hold on. Here I come. Out of my way! Make it That all you got? Make it That all you got? Clear off! Make it That all you got? Make it Come on, really? Hmm. I don't know. We're gonna change it off in a bit, but I am kind of enjoying watching her play games in this stupid outfit. Here I come. What am I doing here? So maybe the more damage I do or something, I get more points? Let me try that one more time. Guess that's just beating it up. Water Norman suit. And it's only for Velvet, because I beat it with Velvet. So if I want to get the entire party... Oh my god, I can get the entire party dressed up in Norman suits. Her ice-cold demeanor. Woo. Oh my god, look at that! Look at that! Look at her tiny head! Woo. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on, let me see these rules. As much damage as possible. We're gonna do it one more time. I just want to see her stupid hair and head. Look at this. Come on, really? She looks so dumb, it's great. And so you could potentially get the entire party all fitted out in these stupid outfits. Dear God. And you can trade coins for bits of outfit. Mini Ludger! Oh, there's multiple pages. Where's my mini Ludger? It's mini Ludger! Look at him, he's so cute! Do I make those sounds when I walk? Look at Mini Ludger, he's adorable! Okay, we gotta take this, we gotta take this off. Look at that! Look at her, she looks so angry! Like... Oh, man. Alright, no, for real though? For real though? Imagine... <laughs> imagine Edge Lord himself with an outfit like this. 
I'm I'm heavily tempted to do that. Hold on a second. <laughs> 